this is Dr. Wu. Welcome to our biology lab at the University of the Southwest. This semester we have uh, four labs in biology class. Um, it starts uh, it starts from uh, uh, week four, which is this week. I will upload uh, four labs on Blackboard each week and uh, students can download uh, from different uh, uh, folders and study it. The structure of uh, uh, the lab is as follows. Uh, the first part is the title uh, of the lab. For example, today uh, the lab one is la lipids and uh, protein. Then the second part, uh, introduction, which contains the information about uh, the principles or mechanisms of uh, the reaction or the um, phenomena uh, we will study uh, in each lab. Then uh, the objectives uh, of the labs. The second part is the uh, experimental uh, procedures, uh, data and uh, uh, questions. So the first uh, uh, portion is this uh, a procedure for uh, the, the test. Uh, then we'll collect uh, the data and uh, answer the question which is the uh, third portion of the lab. So in this uh, first lab, the first question A is describe a positive test for vegetable oil. Uh, where do plants store their fats? Uh, after you finish the lab, uh, you can uh, send it to me uh, by midnight each Sunday. If you have any question, you can uh, email me. Um, I will answer your question as soon as possible. Now let's uh, start uh, our first lab, uh, lipids and the protein. Uh, lipids are made of uh, carbon and hydrogen. Uh, the, the function of lipids is to provide uh, the energy for the cellular uh, work um, in both plants and animals. For protein, uh, protein is made uh, is made of uh, uh, amino acids, uh, 20 of them. Uh, each one, uh, the connection between two amino acids are uh, peptide bonds. Protein is made of this uh, poly polymers uh, of uh, amino acid connecting by uh, peptide bond. Because of this peptide bond, we can use the different uh, uh, reagent. It will react with peptide bond and uh, uh, produce uh, the color. In today's lab, uh, this uh, burette compound will reduce the copper 2 to uh, copper 1, generating violet color indicates the presence of protein. So today's lab has two objectives. First is to use a paper test to detect the presence of visible oil. Second is to detect the presence of protein using buric agent, reagent. So let's uh, look at the first part of uh, uh, the today's lab, uh, the test for uh, vegetable oil. I got one uh, filled paper and fold it in between. I can write uh, oil for the first half, the water for the second half. Then I will add one drop of uh, uh, vegetable oil here uh, we use 
olive oil. So that's uh, one drop on the, the first portion. Oh, then the second one we use one drop of water on the second portion. Then you will see there are two droplets here. So one is for oil, another is for water. And later on, we'll see the difference between these two uh, droplets. Uh, well, we are waiting for the result from the first uh, test uh, for oil. Then we can move um, on to the next uh, test, which is spirit test for protein. The solution I'm going to test is this 1% uh, uh, agar album versus water. If this ag album, uh, album contains protein. We, we need the, the test to demonstrate uh, or confirm the presence of protein in this uh, agar album solution. Now I labeled two tubes. The first one agar album and the second one is this uh, uh, water. I will add uh, one milliliter of uh, each solution uh, solution to the tube. So first, uh, it's egg album one milliliter. This is the pipette, uh, just uh, one milliliter uh, of uh, egg album. Then one milliliter of water uh, here. Okay. And the next step, I will add two drops of. Uh, um, buric reagent to each tube. The first one, one, two. The second one, one, two. Then we'll see um, the color difference. So the first one, th this is the um, albumin solution. So we can uh, clear uh, distinguish them according to the color, uh, the one on my right side and the um, left side uh, for you. This is the uh, protein uh, it because it contains protein because this uh, uh, solution turns purple. Then this one here, um, there's no reaction, though it, it is blue. Um, because this blue is from the uh, original color of uh, album uh, reagent. So no reaction in this tube uh, indicating no protein. That's the result for uh, the second test. So let's grab that uh, test paper to see the difference for the, um, the first one. So as you see, an oil still got uh, a um, the, the the sign of that uh, uh, droplet, but water can see nothing. Uh, it's it already uh, evaporate. So that's the uh, positive result for uh, this paper test uh, of uh, vegetable oil. If you can see. Is a residue um, remain on the paper? That's the indication of the presence uh, of uh, vegetable oil. If there's nothing left, there's no oil in the solution. Okay, so that's all for uh, lab one. I hope you can summarize those information and answer the question.